If you want to back up your files, you have Google Drive, Apple iCloud. But if you want to do it on your own hardware, instead of sending your private data to vCloud, you need something else. There is Nextcloud, which is a very nice open source piece of software. But if you wanted something very, very simple and lightweight, there is ViewCloud. No complicated setup, no feature overload, just the essentials done right. And the best part, you can have it up and running in minutes on the most basic cheapest VPS on your own PC or Raspberry Pi is very lightweight. ViewCloud is not built on PHP like Nextcloud. It's built with TypeScript and Dino. I will install it on VPS that I got on Low Talk a little more than two years ago. One Vicar, two gigabytes of RAM, two terabytes of storage, and it was $110 for three years, which is $3 per month for two terabytes of cloud storage. So this is crazy good value. You won't get such server so cheap right now, but you can still look around at Hohen Talk and Low End Box for best storage VPS deals. You can install ViewCloud with Docker Compose file. But before that, let's create a .nv file. There's a couple of things that you need to set up. In base URL, you can use localhost or local IP if you wanted to have it locally or expose that to the internet through Cloudflare tunnel. Or you can enter your domain. ViewCloud doesn't have SSL built in, so if you want to use that on some domain, you either need to set up reverse proxy or you can use Cloudflare flexible SSL mode, and that's what I used. Then you can change the secret and salt, and that's pretty much all. Now you can use Docker Compose to run it and enter your base URL in browser. You first will need to create an account, but I already did it, and I've already uploaded some things to ViewCloud to show you how it works. We are currently on the dashboard, when you can set up your bookmarks and write some notes, so you can basically set this page as your homepage. Then there is RSS Reader, and I've used feeds from Low End Box and Low End Talk. Basically, you can cut all the noise, ads, and aggregate your favorite forums or news sources into one thing. In the next tab, you will find files. Two clicks to upload, one click to download. You will also find the Photos folder, which contains the files that are uploaded to yet another tab called Photos. Here you can upload any photos or videos, and with one click you get full size. There is one more tab called Notes, where you can make some simple notes. That's pretty much all when it comes to user interface, so like I told you, it's as simple as it gets. It won't be very confusing to anyone, everything is one or two clicks away, and it loads instantly even on a 15-year-old computer. Now, where is Sync? Where is mobile app? ViewCloud supports WebDAV, so you can use whatever you want. The mobile app that I like the most is Folder Sync, which allows you to backup or sync data with WebDAV, and also you can do it with multiple providers at once. For example, you can have your backup on Google Drive, but you can also have separate backup on your ViewCloud instance at the same time. You may wonder, well, Nextcloud exists, and it has all these features and more. It's also free, you can self-host it, so why ViewCloud? Because there is one thing that Nextcloud just cannot do which is to run on servers with very little power. On my VPS, ViewCloud is just 160 MB of RAM, and it's just a little bit CPU, which means that you can get Raspberry Pi Zero for 15 bucks and a half terabyte flash drive for 30 bucks, and it will run very affordable, and it will eat nothing in terms of electricity while having your own data in your own house. I personally use it for extra server backups. If something happens on my VPSs, I just unplug the flash drive from Raspberry Pi Zero, connect it to my computer, and I have everything without waiting or without egress fees. That's all for today. Have a nice day.